Yeah, jump, are you going to jump onto another TV? It's not even a phrase, so that joke doesn't work. <laughs> Does it? Doesn't, it's not even a phrase. You're funny, bro. Thank hey, you. hey, listen. Hey, what? Um, you know, um, the world, yeah? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm vaguely aware of it, yes. Um, I've got a theory, right, about this new world they're going to make. I'm checking my emails on, on my phone, is that alright? Is it an iPhone or a Blackberry? It's an iPhone, yeah. Some mucky ones in there. There's some mucky ones in there, too. 
Give, give, give us some titles. Uh, walking Tales, Ocean 13. Where did you, when you found them? Where did you find them? Or in someone's living room when you broke in, trying to feed uh, your skag habit? They're at the park. Just keep them. Do you think so? Oh, is there, a, is there any identification on the bag? No, nothing. I've just done that. I'm like, I'm like, uh, backpack. You've just done a big backpack. Is that what you said? You want a backpack? No, I'm trying to de decipher your accent. You've just done a big backpack. Very <laughs> big backpack. Okay. Well, uh, why don't you take it back to where you found it? It's a bill for just next to me. Well, then keep it. I'll keep them then. Well, you take the ones you want, then take it to the police. No, I'll just keep them all. Okay, well then what? You didn't really need me to tell you that, did you, Adam? That's right, that's right. How many pockets have you got on you? I've got many. You just made that up, didn't you? No. You just made that up? You didn't have that many when you phoned in earlier? What? Jeez, what's that? <laughs> The first hour of the first show of the week, the first week of the month. So, you know, what, what do you expect? Oh, I don't want to play this. Oh, balls. Alan! Yeah? You made me play a record, but I want to play the adverts. Oh, uh, new what? <laughs> Get stuffed. Ian Lee's two hour long late night radio show starting at 11 every weeknight, except Fridays. something on Thursday evening after the show that I, I haven't ever, um, I've never done before. I told a cab driver he was going the wrong way. I did the same thing on Thursday. Really? Yeah, we went all the way down to, um, uh, where's Pass Piccadilly Circus, down at the bottom. What's that called? Haymarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went all the way down there, I said, oh, right. actually, the other way. But, and he just said there was, like, roadworks. I said, yeah, but you can just go up Regent Street. Yeah, you go around it. And then he went, oh, yeah. For those of you who don't, who've never been to London, this means nothing to you. Go make a cup of tea. So, my thing, we kind of, we kind of live in the same area, and you, I live sort of after you, so mm -hmm. we would go the same way if we ever shared a car. Yeah. So, well, we normally go up through town, um, up through Camden, up through Kentish Town, up through where. Mm -hmm. So we got to, we got to Camden, and instead of going round towards Kentish Town, he turned left and went up Camden High Street, and I thought, okay, this is an odd way, but I'm not going to question it too much. And then, I thought, because there's a little turning you can take that takes you around and brings you back to Kentish Town. And he went past that, and I said, sorry, we're, we're going to Marswell Hill. Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, I was going to take you up to White Hampstead. Well, what? Mm -hmm. He said, it's quicker to go up. You never said it like that. I did, actually. No? I said, what? Because I was getting a bit peed off. He said, oh, it's, it's quicker to take you up to White Hampstead. And for a second, part of me was thinking, well, yeah, maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Even though I've lived there for 10 years, <laughs> and I've never been through Hampstead, no cab driver's ever taken me. Every cab driver's always taken me up. You go past Camden, up through Kentish Town, everyone. And I went, no, I, I really, you want to go through Kentish Town, mate? And he got a bit funny with me. <coughs> he said, I, I know what I'm doing on the cab driver. He's like, yeah, all right, if that's the way you want to go, we'll go that way. Uh -huh. uh, we, we did, but it's a ridiculous route. Done about in 10 minutes, at least. Mine definitely did. I went in the opposite, I went south rather than north. And he said that there were roadways. Yeah. I said, well, there are other ways to get, like, up that way. Go up Regent Street. I had a cab drive this morning, and I didn't. I had to go to the side, there was only thing in the side, it seems to And uh, it took me this weird route where 25 minutes after leaving my flat, we weren't that far away from my flat, because he went one way, then he zigzagged back the other way, then he zigzagged back, back, he kept zigzagging back, I kept thinking I knew which way he was going, then suddenly we turned up two miles away from my flat after 25 minutes. <laughs> and I didn't say anything, I'd, I'd gone back to being timid me, but I was just thinking, that is... Uh, it's proper bull. It's a bit different though, one in the morning. Yeah, I'm tired and a little bit stroppy at one in the morning. Yeah. I don't mind, I don't mind telling those guys. Well, you don't, you normally do. I normally do. I think the first time you've ever seen Remember when they, 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 I was like half an hour late, and I was like, well, when he comes in, just going to give him a funny camera. All right, mate, how's it going? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, no, no problem, push it, no problem at all. Not really, mine really not. Because when he got here, he, 10 minutes after you, yeah. he was like, I'm just going to live. It's like, oh my god, sorry. Do a dump in your car and get me home. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Have you ever been forced to the toilet in the car? No, I don't think so. Once, well, when 
three lanes of traffic, I'm in the middle lane. And then coat over my lap, and I get my winky out when I'm driving. And I get my winky, and I start putting it into the top of the bottle. Oh, God. Right? And th there were a, a lorry, this lorry's going to sit. And then, thank God, there was a break in the traffic, so I could be pulled over to a bus stop. And then when they just took this guy up up against the wall by the bus stop. But I had my winky in a, in a bottle. That's the day Sorry, no. A guy came up to me and we'd been chatting and he said, oh, any chance you game attack? I said, yeah, all right, you seem like a nice bloke. This is what it is. So I went home, uh, uh, had my dinner. A couple of hours later, turned on the Xbox, had about 60 friends requests and they were all from this like weird kids going, are you that bloke who's the other day? Are you that bloke? Oh, maybe my friend. And I, I accepted some of them and they were all just such massive knobs. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I booted them all off, got rid of all of my friends, uh, and got a new game attack. I'm thinking of getting rid of all of my friends apart from three people and I starting think, again. I, I think that's very wise. I think virtual genocide is yeah. important, you know, through Facebook and, uh, and uh, your game attack. Just kill them all off. I'm, I'm tempted to. I've got there's, there, there's a couple of weirdos in my friends list. There's three really nice people, and I might just get rid of everyone and keep these three people. Well, I, you know, I, I, I try to kind of build up some kind of bonds, but I'm still very much a new. But, and I, I need some, like, uh, I wanted uh, someone who I could really trust no. the nasty zombies. No. Um, but then once you get called to see you next Tuesday by a kind of obnoxious, morbidly obese, kind of anonymous eight-year-old, yep. Really oh, the best, the best, the best thing, right? The best fun I have on Xbox now is not playing the games. It's going on and putting on the worst American accent ever. My wife just finds it hilarious. So I'm there going, hey man, so where about you from, man? Because I'm from Texas, right? And Americans don't know I'm not American. English don't know I'm not American. And if there's someone with like a Geordie accent or something, I pretend they're French. I'm like, oh, hey man, I can't understand what you're saying. I don't speak French. I'm not French, man. You know, I'm from Wales or whatever. I, I don't understand a word you're saying, man. Uh, and it's it's the most fun you can have on the Xbox Live, Dave. Oh right, okay. I'll bear, I'll bear that in mind. That's very good. Uh, yeah, I just got told by some American child that I was stealing their kills, man. Yeah, yeah I'm stealing their and, kills. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I I didn't realise that. What, what, how did you feel uh, the whole Ghostbusters uh, game went? Disappointing. Disappointing! Because I was waiting for that game for about 24 years. Yes. Because um, if you're anything like me, you're slightly older than me, I think. Um, well, 
listen to any Tears of Fear songs that you're about to recommend. They can't get any simpler than that. And it, don't, don't, don't take it as a personal attack. It's no, not. No, I, 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 you know, I'm just, I'm just wanna, not going to listen. I do. I do. Yes, I do. I, I, I wish, I, I wish to be close-minded when it comes to Tears for Flipping Fears. Yes. Okay. We'll leave it like that. No, you, you keep trying, you keep trying, but the answer will always be the same. The answer will be nay. Nope. Exactly. I'm not even going to bear in mind. Whatever, whatever words you say now are just going to bounce off my ear and fall down onto the floor. Another round of Happy Days themes, and we're still trying to play pocket poker. How many pockets have you got? Oh, double three, oh, one, two, three, twelve, fifteen. Radio in 1975, yeah. 
I'm confused as to what, the, what your point is. He was with well, the, surely radio was invented well before. And actually, there's probably a different word. I don't, I don't even need DJ. Maybe Marconi would be a good word. Right. Well, don't start speaking foreign to me, Jason. Nothing to be funny about it. 1925 <laughs> was when radio was started. I'll, I'll, I'll try and get Tony Blackburn on the show maybe next week to see, so we can talk about it. <laughs> would, would, would that help? That would be great. Uh, if if uh, Tony comes on and confirms that radio started in 75, then uh, unconverted, I, I believe you. I would, well, Jason, in that case, listen next week. I will get Tony Blackburn on the show to talk about when he started in radio, when it first started in 1975, and then you can uh, phone up and apologise for spouting foreign swear words. I will, I will do that. I'll Thank you, Jason. That. Thank you. That's all. We'll go right. That's... Hang on a second. List of things to do. Tony Blackburn. I can get Blackburn on. Me and Blackburn are very, very good friends. Me and Blackburn, very, I want to spend a wonderful evening with Tony Blackburn and his wife. Um, it's a Neil Diamond concert. That's, that's, a, that's a true story. Uh, right, let's, let's go to... Uh, Tony, hello Tony. Yeah. Oh, Tony. Hello. Ah, you want to play pocket poker? I do, yeah. Excellent stuff, well done. We've got uh, Sven, good evening Sven. It's going away. The phone's going to Bunbury. Hang on a second. That's uh, truck. Sven, try that. Yeah, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yes, I'm okay, Mrs. Now. For some reason, the phones in this place are absolute crap. I blame the uh, the miserable stick that was on earlier. No. I can't that is. Oh, God almighty. Oh, he had an attitude, didn't he? Well, and he had a black bedroom, no doubt. Yeah, I, I listen, I don't mind, you know, teenagers being, being miserable. And that's fine. Don't call the show and have an attitude. This is... This is the home of fun. This is Andre's fun house, for crying out loud. Okay. Agree. The rules of pocket poker, very, very simple. You tell me how many pockets you've got on you right now, okay? So don't go putting, don't go making stuff up. You have to be honest for this to work. Tony, you call him first. Yeah. I want you to count how many pockets you've got on you right now. Could you take us through each pocket individually, please? Yeah, I've got a pair of pockets in the bottom door. Yep. That's my two pockets. Yep, okay, so that's two of them. Yep. Five pockets. Hey, whoa! You got jeans and tracksuit trousers? Yeah, my jeans are not working. Okay, okay, fair place, that's five. Oh, that's seven, yep. I've got a hoodie on. Yep. I've got two pockets in the front. Yep. And I've got my giant pile, which is got seven pockets. Jeez, that is a lot of, that is a lot of pockets. Toto, Sven. Yeah. I can hear the disappointment in your voice already. <laughs> no, because I can equal it. Oh, come on! Come on then! Okay, uh, Sven, what, 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 you've got 16 pockets. Yeah, no, well, 15. 15. Okay. I can equal it. Yeah, I've got um, one, two, two side pockets on the trousers, the normal pockets, the two pockets in the back make six. Yeah. Um, underneath I've got a shirt with two pockets on that. On top of that, I've got a jacket which has one, two, three, four. Oh, it's on the inside. So what's it, it's gonna be no, actually, I've just done it. You, how many? Six, six, six on the trousers. Yeah, hang on, so six or six, yes. Six on, six on the jacket. That's twelve, yeah. Four on the outside, two on the inside. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's eighteen. That can't be. Six or six is twelve. No, do it from go from the start again. Right. Six in the trousers. Yes. Six in the jacket. That's twelve.